Nothing out there could ever stop me From chasing after the way you la-la-la-la-love me Keeping me up two cups of coffee Baby, you make me feel so la-la-la-lovely I keep on running, no, I shouldn't want it uh -huh, uh -huh. I keep on pulling right until you're done I can't get you off my mind Hello, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be taking you through the baking marathon that I did the day before my son's first birthday party. I was in the kitchen for about nine hours, so this video is packed with motivation and pretty desserts. I had to make four things for the party. Chocolate dipped Oreos, chocolate dipped pretzel sticks, 80 cake pops in vanilla and chocolate flavors, and a smash cake for my son. Let's get started. Enjoy. So sweet, yeah. To make the cake pops, I used cake mix for the base instead of baking cakes from scratch, just so I would have enough time to do everything in one day. While the vanilla cake cooled, I got started on the Oreos. To coat them in chocolate, I used colored meltables that I got from Michael's. To decorate them and to customize the Oreos for the dinosaur party theme, I made my own custom blend of sprinkles using several different kinds I found at Target, Michael's, and on Etsy. It turned out really cute. Breathing in my surroundings I fall into a day 
Before starting on the pretzels, I put together the cake batter for the chocolate cake pops. To make melting the chocolate and dipping the pretzels easier, I bought these disposable dipping boxes from Michaels to make sure I covered at least a third of the pretzel sticks in chocolate. I used orange chocolate for the pretzels, but the same green for the drizzle to tie everything together. By now, the cake pans that I used for the vanilla cakes were out of the dishwasher, so I'm going to go ahead and pour in the chocolate batter and bake the cakes. Yeah, 
always said that they don't got a future Future like that It hurts So giving something worse to pass the time Don't you wanna have fun? Another thing I love using on desserts is this edible glitter. I got this on Wilton's website and I got a few colors to use and mix them up. It doesn't affect the taste of anything at all and I just think birthday party desserts call for some glitter. Once the chocolate drizzle had hardened for a while, I pulled the pretzels off of the parchment paper and knocked off the excess chocolate. Then I put them in sealed Ziplocs overnight in the fridge so they didn't go stale and stayed crunchy. I also did this with the Oreos earlier, and it worked perfectly. Everything was still fresh the next morning. The binder for cake pops is frosting, and you can use any store-bought one you like, but I decided to make some American buttercream to make the cake pops taste a little bit more homemade. Okay, 
Now we get to the really fun part of making cake pops, mixing the cake and buttercream together. I haven't found a good way to do this to get a smooth consistency other than using my hands, and I have to roll the mixture into balls by hand anyways, so it works. I took my cakes out of the pans by hand earlier as well and put the pieces into Ziplocs to chill before I did this. To get a consistent size in my cake pops, I used a one and a half tablespoon cookie scoop to portion out the cake mixture, then just rolled them and set them on parchment paper. To attach the lollipop sticks to my cake balls, I always melt some chocolate and dip the ends of the sticks before sticking them in the cake balls. This acts like a glue and makes the cake ball less likely to fall off of the stick when dipping later. Once all the sticks are in, I will put these cake balls in the freezer for about an hour before I dip them. To decorate the cake pops, I found these little royal icing dinosaurs at Michael's and I used a dab of chocolate to glue each one onto a cake pop. Then I sprayed some edible glitter to finish these off. Every time, every night, you and I count a roll. Switch it up, switch it up, switch it up where I'm going. Stay on the fly just in time, know the right way to go. So guests could tell the difference between the chocolate and vanilla cake pop flavors. I covered the chocolate ones in a different color. You always take me so 
create a smash cake for my son, I simply picked up this little six inch round cake from the grocery store. I tried to pick one up with as little embellishment already on it as possible. Then I just used an icing knife to strip it and decorate it on my own. it's time to display our desserts. To create a display for the pretzel sticks, I bought these scalloped containers from Party City and filled them with Easter grass from Target. This created sort of a base that I could set the pretzels on so they wouldn't fall or break. Then I used some dinosaur cake toppers with picks to decorate the containers and sort of peek out from behind the pretzels. I think she knows that she To display the Oreos, I used a different colored Easter grass on a platter I already had laying around. 
Then I grabbed these dinosaurs from the Dollar Tree and sort of nestled them in the grass. I displayed all of the Oreos in a circle around them as sort of a big dinosaur nest. What was it all for? I don't know you anymore. We go back, we go back, we go back, we collide. Losing track, losing track, even God knows I'm trying. I used this console table under my TV as a dessert table for the Oreos and the pretzels. I also used the extra Easter grass I had to cover the entire table and make the display look more cohesive. Time, letting you into my life. Mm -hmm. You brought out the best in me. We had everything we needed. You put me aside and turn out the lights. And this is what everything looked like all put together before guests arrived. If you want to see how I decorated my house for this party, I'll put that video up in the iCards here. I had so much fun making the desserts for this party, and if you enjoyed watching this video, please like, subscribe, and share. It really helps out my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless. Keep on going, don't try